Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting lives on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. I'm the brother of Rock uh, from Jim S. Atlanta, back with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to an elect member too. I'm going to entitle this lesson, Where Should Your Confidence Lie? Right? And that's a question uh, that I'm going to be opposing uh, in this lesson. And I give you a hint. <laughs> it damn sure ain't Esau. Okay? It's damn sure not carnality. You know, it's, it's damn sure not uh, your woman, your family, or what have you. There's only one person or one thing that you should be putting your confidence in, man. And that's your how about she me how was shy. Okay. Now it's good to have confidence within yourself, but not in a proud sense. Okay. Confident that you can uh, do certain things in the spirit, you know, confident that you can get the ball rolling on things that you want to do or use uh, in this world as to not abuse it. You know, things of that nature It's fine to have confidence in those areas. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, we all know that the praise and the glory goes to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and all of our trust uh, goes in his direction. OK, we put all our eggs in that basket, so to speak. So your confidence should lie within Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And not man. So this is Psalms 118. And uh, verse eight, it says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Um, verse eight, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. OK, um, so let's get that word confidence. In uh, Psalms 118 and eight and it's uh, Batak. And it says trust to trust in to have confidence in. To be confident, to be bold, all right. Hey, 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 yeah, it takes a lot of trust to stand bold, man. Because what it tells you in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, uh, that we stand bold in the face of um, uh, of our enemies, so to speak. That takes a certain level of trust. That if you stand bold in the faces of your enemy. That the Lord is going, you trust and believe that the Lord is going to protect you and bring you out on top. Okay. So, <clears throat> so like you, so the words, but top, the word confidence means to trust in, to have confidence, be confident, to be bold, to be secure, to cause the trust, to make secure, to feel safe, uh, be careless. All right. Now, keeping it in the sense of having confidence in how by Shimi, I was shy, we have a, to have or walk with a certain level of care. But once it oversteps that and you become worrying, that means you don't have trust. All right. So you can be careless within your how about Shimmy I was shy, but care at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay. You don't want to be uh because like I said, to put all your eggs in one basket, that's an act of carelessness. All right. But we're careless in the sense that hey, if we do Put our whole heart and trust in Yahweh by Shimei I was shy. He's going to protect us and he's going to reward us. All right. We're careless, careless in that sense. All right. So um, from now, I'm going to get another precept. Um, the book of Second Chronicles, uh, matter of fact, uh, the 30. Uh, yeah, the 32nd chapter and uh, start at verse seven. It says, be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with them. All right. And strength does not come in numbers. OK, the strength lies within Yahweh. You know, the Lord uh, uh, had Israel overcome a battle with only 300 men, man. As a um, as opposed to thousands, and they put them to flight. All right, that's having confidence in Yahweh Shimei Shai and trusting in Him that He'll bring you out in the latter end. 
So uh, Second Chronicles 32 and 7, be strong and courageous, which means to have courage. All right. Be not afraid nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our power to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. All right. So that was his rallying cry to the troops. All right. These are fleshly men. All right. Our battle is carnal. I mean, so like our battle is spiritual and not carnal because it tells you in Romans the eighth chapter to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace all right and that goes hand in hand with what hezekiah was telling um the men of judah okay it says with him is an arm of flesh but with us is the lord of our power to help us yeah because with with esau it ain't nothing but his sword that he was blessed with you know now that sword, he's been swinging and, and, and taking peace from the earth, as it tells you in uh, Revelation the sixth chapter, the fourth verse. But that is no match when it comes to Yahweh Shai. It doesn't even stand a chance. All right, it's like bringing a damn a, a knife to a gunfight. All right, it's it's foolishness to think that uh, carnality. Um, uh, can supersede uh, spirituality, okay? There's plenty of examples throughout the scriptures where uh, spirituality trumped carnality, okay? So, uh, from there, not going to be a quick lesson. Uh, quick, quick, straight to the point. A uh, few more precepts. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 15, it says... Behold, they say unto me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. Uh, so like, uh, that's not what I was looking for. Let me see. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Trust. So like, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus said the Lord. Cursed be the man that trust of a man. Ooh. Cursed. Be the man that trusteth in man and make of flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Hey, that's a that's a cold precept, man. And in the days that we're coming into, if you if you're afraid of Esau, and you put not your confidence in the Lord, uh, then you 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 up shit creek without a pedal, man, as they say, uh, as the old folks say, you know, and um. It, it, the scriptures tell you, a hey, fear not them that could kill the body, but he that can kill both uh, soul and body, roughly paraphrasing. In the book of Matthew, I believe that's the 20th chapter. So anything this guy can do carn carnally, you know, cannot withstand the spirituality and the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, especially when we are granted spiritual powers, man, Lord willing, we are those men, you know. Esau ain't going to stand a chance, but his proudness is going to have him to stand up and fight, you know, uh, the Lord and his angels and his chariots, you know, into the, into the bitter end. Because this guy is proud and he thinks that he's above the Lord, all right. And it's just the pride that the Lord put him in, put into him to, to have this guy totally bugged out to the point that he believes that <laughs> the little uh, uh m16s and fucking hydro hydrosonic missiles and the little fucking uh, uh, uh icbms are going uh, uh stand a chance against yahweh by shimmy i was shot in his army you know they're sadly mistaken uh so jeremiah 17 and 5 again thus said the lord cursed be the man that trusted in man and make a flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Yeah, hey, and there's some guys within the nation of Israel, man. Hey, pull up, boys. Y'all must ain't read this scripture, you know. That that, hey, man, the 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 carnality and the weapons and the sword is Esau's blessing, man. 
our blessing was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, to be the chosen of his people, okay, through the lines of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? So, uh, it says, curse be you that even trust in Esau, you know, and this voting system that y'all just went out and voted for, you know, speaking of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're cursed, you know, because you put trust in man. All right. And you fill in the curses and it's going to be brought down even harder, man. Having this heathen rule over you and you niggas is out in the streets blowing your horns and honking because uh, Joe Biden's in office. But hey, man, <laughs> you, you niggas got to learn the hard way. Uh, one more precept. Uh, bear with me. Um, yeah, back in the book of Psalms. Lucky. <laughs> 40 and um, verse 4, it says, Blessed is that man that make of the Lord his trust and respect of not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. And who's the ultimate uh, uh, proud, the most prideful person on the earth, man? Esau, Edom. Okay. But you need y'all fear Esau because his judgment comes down uh, exponentially. Okay. But the Lord uh, tells us in the scriptures that just because judgment against an evil work is not executed speedily, it's in their hearts to continue to do wickedness. All right. So, hey, amen. Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and also exhorting uh, to the next time. I want to say shalom.